Welcome back, everyone, to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 13, Episode 8 of Joan of Arc, and we are playing the Apocalypse Expansion. We are in the last round of the Armageddon scenario. Uh, it's been a, a, a massive battle. So we lost the Antichrist, was defeated by the Archangels Raphael and uh, Gabriel. Uh, and we are now moving into the final round. The huge, huge attack last round by the Leviathan wiped out a huge number of casualties. Uh, you can see the casualty box of all the minis that have been smashed through. We've lost most of the forces here. Uh, let's jump into round number eight. Before we do, quick shout out to our sponsor, Pontos Fathom Press. Uh, as you guys know, the channel is not monetized, so if you check out our bookstore link, you can see books like The Psychoanalysis of Rilia and The Archaeology of yogg -Sothoth out on our bookstore. It helps to support us. You can also check out Genealogy of Cthulhu uh, on our Patreon and digital edition if physical books aren't your thing. And you can also get updates into our upcoming uh, Joan of Arc gameplay, Song of Ice and Fire, miniature painting, and gameplay. We just did a massive... Uh, couple model builds for Evangelion and Mospita uh, slash Robotech. So those, all those will be coming out soon. So check that stuff out on the channel. Let's get into round number eight without further ado. So uh, we'll start out with our cards and we will get, uh, let's go ahead and get our activation points. So now we have five activations. This is going to be a huge round. Plus, we're going to try to use up everything. So let's use our activations. We also have a charge activation for the one, two, three, four, five. And let's give five to the um, holy players. Um, the unholy player also has a iron will card that they can use. When defending, they cancel one. So I will be playing this one. I'll take their power token right now to do that, and I'll also check out for Armageddon. I can move Death, Famine, Conquest, and War one area. Let's just do that right now. So I'm gonna move these guys into the space with the angels here, and I'm gonna move him back toward the angels. And they're gonna try to take these angels out. Maybe take out the Ark of the Covenant as well. So we've got a massive battle here um, for them. So that's my free move from the Armageddon card. Uh, let's go ahead and place uh, these attackers. I'm going to put these guys in a charge. I'm also going to put these guys uh, um, so I think that they can charge to here. This is not really a spike here. This is just for so I knew where to start everyone. So we'll have a charge for them. Let's have these guys attacking here in this space. We'll also have these guys attacking in this space. Uh, we'll get, I guess we'll get the Leviathan to attack. I think we can get everyone to attack here. They will attack. Uh, and finally, these skeletons can attack as well. And that looks like it's all the minis in motion right there. Uh, we also can raise two more skeletons up. So we'll get those out there. And let's, uh, let's start. So first off, uh, we'll have a charge. Uh, I think we can do... I don't think we can charge into Zion. Well, let's have some of these guys defeat these bowmen. And we'll have our spectral, um, spectral horsemen charge into Zion uh, here. And these guys will just come into here and fight against these bowmen and judgment. So we've got... Uh, by moving those troops into Zion, it has to be on the last turn, so I won't count that as the scoring. So uh, let's go ahead and have our skeletons attacking. Um, let's have our skeletons attacking the mounted skeletons attacking these bowmen. So mounted skeletons uh, have red and white and red and white, one, two, one, two, red and white, and red and white. Let's just do it all at once. Bowmen have white. So 
So we'll just roll all these first. Okay, and then we'll roll. So let's just place hold of these with yellows instead. We've got two of these. We've got, and then we just need to place this one with this, okay? And then we'll roll our defense ones and they block, 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 block. So they only block one, so three killed, no, they, they, they're all gone. So all these bowmen have been taken out by the skeletal guys. Um, we'll also have the uh, mounted specters will go ahead and fight against the uh, they'll fight against judgment so we'll have the mounted specters fighting against judgment judgment has two black for defense Uh, judgment will replace the two black for his defense, and they will do uh, red, white, white, and white, white. And he gets to roll that twice. So red, white, white blocks one, and so he takes. Four damage, but he has 12. So the skeletal warriors attack judgment. He takes the four damage. Uh, so that's going to do it for this area of the board. Let's go to our attacks. Uh, let's have um, war is going to attack the archangel Gabriel. He has two black dice. War has red and white, and he can change... So block one, hit one. Uh, Archangel Gabriel gets another hit. Let's also have another attack on Archangel Gabriel by uh, Famine with a black and a white. It's two blacks. Okay, and then lastly, let's have um, uh, Conquest, white, white, red. Uh, okay, uh, one more damage and the Archangel Gabriel is destroyed. Archangel Gabriel is destroyed by Conquest. So this is the swan song for the Archangel Gabriel. It's going to ascend up to heaven. And... Uh, and in the meantime, that is counting as a advancement for the Antichrist player. They are now up to 3-3-3, three, 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 but still far from that 6-6-6 six, six, six that they need to win. Uh, let's continue. These guys have all gone. Uh, the Devourers. Let's have the Devourers attacking the Ark of the Covenant. The Devourers roll a red. The Ark rolls... Um, Two blacks, that should be fine. So, devourers, reds. Ark of the Covenant takes one more damage. Uh, let's have the uh, winged demons attacking the um, archangel um, Michael. Or Raphael. Let's have him attack Raphael. The flying demons, or the voracious demons. So yeah, flying demons can attack him. Has a black defense. They have yellow. So that's uh, one block. And one push so he gets pushed out from that area okay 
And that's going to do it. Let's go ahead now and uh, flip it to the Holy Player's turn. Holy Player gets to go now. Oh, I didn't do this Leviathan attacking. Uh, have, I'll have him attack the Griffin. Uh, Leviathan attacks the Griffin. He gets to roll the stomp damage, or does he just roll? Let's have him just, what's the Griffin's uh, damage? Griffin has, Griffin has two whites and he does four whites. Okay, let's just do that. Here's four whites. Okay, that's three hits. And then we'll just do two whites like this for defense. Uh, so the Griffin takes, the Griffin takes two damage out of four. So the Griffin has two damage and the Leviathan's done his turn. Let's move it over now to the Holy Player. Holy Player has uh, the ability to do five as well. Uh, so let's give Judgment a move. Judgment can change his attack to a, a dice. He's going to stomp these Spectral guys out of this. Oh, actually, because they're in that space, technically at the end of the turn, so they're not at the end of the turn, so let's leave it at that. Uh, let's give... These guys another attack, and we will give the angels an attack here, and we'll give uh, Joan of Arc and crew an attack, and these angels an attack as well, and these bowmen can have an attack, and we'll also have the Colvian attack these skeletal wars. So let's have them attack at the end. Uh, we'll flip him to a roll of the... Uh, purple die, he does the wound, so he stomps them into here, and he's able to stomp these guys as an attack, so he clears one of these out, I believe it's just one, because he, he can't stomp both of them, so he stomps one of them, uh, okay, so next up we'll have Joan of Arc and his angels attacking these mounted knights and these damned, so let's go ahead and give her an attack, she has white in this. Damned have a black and red. Nothing. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and have her heretics attacking. The heretics attack with black and yellow. Black and yellow versus the mounted... Um, they're going to attack those mounted knights. These are sort of like those traitorous humans, right? So they get one black, the black and yellow. And they are going to take out these mounted knights. So that's a victory for them. Okay. Next up, we've got the angels attacking the horsemen. So first of all, we'll have the Archangel Michael attack war. Michael is the most powerful, I would think. So Michael will attack war. Uh, he says with five and two. So he gets one. He can spend a power token to get an extra die. So let's do that as well. And then war gets a black and a red. So he'll get this extra token. And then get this. And he does one, two, three damage to war. One, two, three, four damage to war. And that is going to make war at six. War is taken out by Archangel Michael. Let's show that for the for the trailer clip. War versus Archangel Michael. Michael is the victorious. Uh, let's also have the Ark of the Covenant attacking. Um, uh, Ark of the Covenant will attack Conquest. Uh, the Ark of the Covenant will roll three dice and two dice for defense of Conquest. Three dice for defense of Conquest. Um, it's three damage from the Ark of the Covenant. So that brings the damage count up to, uh, we can take 
uh, no, it goes there. We can take them from war because war is pulled off the board. So that is now damage to uh, conquest is now up to four damage. And oh, famine is also dead with three damage. I didn't realize famine was out. So famine is out and uh, uh, conquest is nearly out. So let's say goodbye to them. And uh, conquest, we still have Michael's gone, the Ark's gone. We still have those two angels there. They are called uh, Wrathful Angels or something like this. Uh, they are called Destructive Angels. And Conquest has two. They have a red and black. And they score one more damage. The first one scores one damage. The second desolate, uh, Destructive Angel will go now. They have red and black. And he has two. Okay, and nothing. So that conquest is still there. Destructive Angel goes. And um, I'll have this angel also can attack the conquest from here. And this angel will actually move to fight conquest as well. So again, we'll do that one more time. Red and black, two whites. Okay, and one more time. And that is going to be one damage to conquest, that conquest. So all four horsemen of the apocalypse have been uh, destroyed. So the last of the four horsemen of the apocalypse have been destroyed. And um, the griffin will now go against the leviathan. Uh, that's the last play we've got there. Griffin versus the Leviathan. And uh, Griffin versus the Leviathan. We will give the Griffin red, white, and black. Leviathan has two standing black dice for defense. So we'll see what we get here. Uh, Griffin doesn't get to attack, but we do have the final, final say is these uh, archers will try to get this Spectre, these two guys with the Colvier, 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 the Culverin, Culverin. They're going to attack with three. The mounted Spectres, uh, they have one mounted Spectre. So they have like a blessed. Arrow, let's say. I don't know how they're going to kill this guy. But... <clears throat> they also get to turn this to a push. And actually, that's they don't get to kill it because this blocks it. But they get to push them out of Mount Zion. And that is going to do it for the round. So the unholy forces have 3-3-3. Three, three, three. They were able to destroy the Archangel Gabriel. But uh, I think the victory conditions are pretty clear. It's uh, victory conditions are if the unholy gather gathers six 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 points they win the game. If the unholy army doesn't win at the end of the eighth round, the holy army wins the game. Wow, that's this has been an awesome round, guys. Check out my next video. I'm gonna do a wrap up of this as I as I rebox it. There's a lot lot to discuss, a lot to unpack here. This is fantastic. I almost want to play this one again. Hope you guys like it. This would be a great one to do on um, on stream. So if you guys are still here, go check us out on the Patreon. Uh, go check out the bookstore. Uh, like and subscribe to us so we can get to 1,000. I, I, I would love to, st to stream this and get a, a game going uh, live. So uh, talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.